My name's Colin Shaw, and I'm the founder of Beyond Philosophy. And in our third book, The DNA of Customer Experience, How Emotions Drive Value, we've been looking at what are the emotions that actually drive value in an organization. And when we say value, we mean revenue, uh, how do you increase revenue, short-term revenue, short-term spend, uh, but also longer-term revenue with, with uh, customer loyalty. And so, therefore, for the last 18 months, we've been working with London Business School uh, and a chap called um, Professor Christopher Voss. We've also involved uh, one of the leading consumer psychologists in the UK, called a young lady called Professor Jane Raymond. And we have now discovered that there are four clusters of emotions that either drive or destroy value for an organisation. Uh, and within those clusters of emotions, uh, there are, and there are some 20 emotions, uh, we can now reveal to you what those emotions are, what is it that you are doing as an organisation to either evoke those uh, 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 emotions or to cause yourself a problem by evoking some of the destroying cluster of emotions. So let me give you a couple of examples of that. A couple of examples would be the destroying cluster of emotions are things like when a customer feels frustrated, a customer feels stressed, a customer feels hurried, if you're evoking those emotions with your customers today, then they will be costing you money, but not only that, is you will be losing revenue. So what is it that you are doing to evoke those emotions and how can you stop doing those things? How can you try to eradicate those emotions? Second area is what we call the attention cluster of emotions. These are emotions like feeling stimulated, feeling interested. Organizations need to, to evoke these emotions in customers so they can uh, increase their short-term spend. We then have the recommendation cluster of emotions, which are things like getting the customer to feel valued, getting the customer to feel cared for, uh, and those will increase your loyalty. And finally, we have the advocacy cluster of emotions, and these again are proven, a proven statistical link to increase customers' loyalty, and those are things like happiness and pleased. With the loyalty part of the equation, we've used Reichel's work and his, um, uh, uh, and his, um, uh, the ultimate question, which is, how would, would you recommend uh, a friend or a colleague to this company? And therefore, we can now prove to you how, if you evoke these emotions with customers, it will increase your revenue, it will increase customer spend, but it will also increase customers' loyalty and also increase your net promoter score. Within there, we have three or four uh, examples of case studies, including one from IBM, including one from TNT and a financial services provider, and so on and so forth. And therefore, we recommend the book to you. We recommend you read it. But more importantly, we recommend that you act on it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.